Guys and gals, we're doing a full tower site overview here. We're at a, a Crown Castle site. Uh, where are we? Brook Park, Ohio, I think. Brook Park or maybe Middleburg Heights, actually. All right, so that's Engel Road over there. It's running that way, and here's the site. Okay, so here's what I want to show you guys. First of all, you got a diesel tank. All right, so you got backup power, all right? First things first, most important thing, never fail, never go down. All right, you got, uh, who's this, Verizon, or is this? Yep, you got Verizon right here. That's their little, their little house where they got everything. All right, so 190 gallon capacity. This thing will run forever. 190 gallon diesel, Generac. Anyways, here's what I wanna show you guys. Who's underneath it? Looks like some old CDMA or something. Some old uh, 3G stuff. All right, here's what I wanna show you guys. Ah, man, it's so bright. All right. Brand new upgrade. So this is crazy. Uh, the reason I wanna share this with you guys is because I was just here last summer testing this site and uh, <laughs> there's the CBRS. All right, so let me give you guys the rundown. To the left is N77. All right, that's C-band. Samsung. To the right of that, the taller, skinnier one, that's CBRS. Okay. And then there's all that other stuff, the sub six gigahertz, all this stuff on LT and DSS, 5G. So this is so your site. Now, something I've never seen before is the CBRS is tilted. I've actually never seen that before. And the reason I want to show you this is because I want to show you the other side of the site because it's down tilted even more. So they must be dealing with some kind of interference possibly or they're getting a lot of noise maybe some other signals by the way we're near the airport so that could be something i don't know or there could be some equipment uh i don't know there's like customs over here somewhere uh there's a library there's a hospital industrial parkway uh there's a fedex i don't know there's a lot of stuff there's like a corporate park let me see i think i can get you guys a good view here of this crazy tilt and I might be able to get you a better view of the gear too. All right, N77 on the left. There's this, uh, the C-band on the left. And then there's the CBRS to the right of that. All right, and then you got some old CDMA 3G gear there too, which is crazy. All right, so that's what you're looking for from Samsung gear for Verizon. Crazy tilt, right? Uh, what do you say we test it, guys? What do you say we test the site? And... I think what we'll do is we'll test it on LTE and we'll also test it on 5G with the ultra wideband and we'll do it on the Pixel 6 Pro and we'll do it on the iPhone. So let's start with the 5G ultra wideband. By the way, I was getting like 600 megabits on the way up here when I first picked it up. Looking for a shady spot here. So you guys can see better. There we go. All right, we got 26 millisecond ping, two millisecond jitter, 475 down and 56.2 on the up. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. You see we're getting the 5G ultra wideband. Let's run another test. Go ahead and get the pixel going. Yep, that's picking up the 5G Ultra Wideband also. All right, 29 millisecond ping, 2.4 millisecond jitter. And we got 495 down and 50 four megabits 55 megabits 52 megabits on the uplink good stuff no loss let's go ahead and run the uh google pixel 6 pro all right so got both of those going see if there's any difference pretty comparable i don't see much of a difference there all right cracked 500 all right so we got 508 on the downlink 
uplink a little bit better on this test compared to the iPhone. So 508 down and about 74 on the up. All right, so there's these two compared. 495 versus 508 for downlink, and then 490, uh, 52 versus 73. Pixel 6 Pro a little bit faster. I'm not sure if that's substantial. We'll test it again. I'll go ahead and put the iPhone into LTE. We'll test that because we got the CBRS going. This thing's holding strong, it's pretty fast. 23 ping, two millisecond jitter, 518 down and about 40, 41 megabits on the up. So maybe a little bit faster, kind of, sort of, than the first test than the iPhone. Let's go ahead and do the LTE testing. All right, so we got the iPhone going for LTE. We'll test the CBRS and got that going and then We'll go ahead and check out the uh, the Pixel for LTE. Let me go ahead and switch that. Man, they are upgrading these N77 C-band sites like crazy. All right, so 431 down and 30 on the up. 28 ping, 3.5 millisecond jitter. That's LTE, definitely CBRS. I'm assuming 60 megahertz, that's usually what they do. They got 30 megahertz up licensed, and then they usually do some combination of like 20 or 30 unlicensed. And they got it going on here. This site is crazy good. All that gear, all that speed up there. 450 down, about 32 up. Okay, so let's get the... Uh, Pixel going here in a second for LTE. 450 down, 31 up. Now we're testing the Pixel for LTE. See if it's any similar, faster, slower compared to the iPhone. Man, faster a little bit. So 450 by 31 for the iPhone about 470 by 50 51 on the pixel the uh, Samsung gear that's on these tower sites I think that might might be something to do with this you know the Samsung uh, the Samsung modem here in this uh, pixel pro pixel 6 pro jeez man the CBRS is cooking all right, so 20 millisecond ping, seven millisecond jitter, 471 on the downlink. Like 53 on the uplink. So the Pixel 6 Pro scoring comparably compared to the iPhone on the C-Band N77. Better with the CBRS a little bit, I'd say. And uh, just to give you guys the, uh, the evidence of what we're connected to, I'll show you guys here in the tools I use the Signal Check Pro, and you could see there four carrier aggregation. It's unusual. I think it's, it's what four carrier aggregation, twenty by twenty by sixty by five. That's weird. <laughs> That's unusual. So twenty megahertz is AWS. That's band sixty six. I'm assuming the rest of it because they don't have anything else other than the CBRS, but that 5 megahertz is likely PCS. Band 2. Huh. And that's what we got here. Now, here's what I want to show you guys, and this is why you want to turn your 5G on. This is a fast.com speed test. One LTE, right? Verizon will throttle your video speed and cap it. So my plan, I get like 9 to 10 megabits for fast.com for video. I could do like quad HD, but that's really it. I can't do 4K. But that, this is why you want to turn 5G on. And I'll show you guys. I'm going to just switch this up. I'm going to put the 5G ultra wideband. I'm going to activate that. And I'm just going to go to my settings. Go to preferred network type and click on 5G. 
and it should switch. Yep, and it did. And you'll see now that I got 5G Ultra Wideband engaged. See, uncapped video. So if I want to watch 4K, I can. My phone doesn't have 4K. <laughs> but like if you were tethering in hotspot, this is what you'd want to have on. It's a must. Oh, look at that. Pushing 640, 650, fast.com. at that we'll go ahead and test the iphone too now this one has a different plan this one has the uh og unlimited plan the 2005 big shout out to carlos so this one's going to get like 40 50 megabits for lte so there's the fast.com and the pixel 6 pro there's 650 down 37 ping 63 up and then here's the uh Here's the LTE fast.com on the iPhone 13 Pro. 39, uh, 39 megabits per second down, 41 ping. Look, it's even capping my uplink. Jeez. <laughs> Let's switch this thing into 5G and test the ultra wide band. All right, so I just turned 5G on. Now we're getting the ultra wide band. Let's go ahead and test it. I'm telling you, this is why you got to have that 5G ultra wide band going. Yeah. So th this plan here is the 05 original OG Unlimited plan. This one is the 2017 new Verizon Unlimited plan. Very similar in, in experience except for that video cap. All right, so 560 down, 37 ping. Let's see what we get for the uplink. See, no longer capping the uplink either. 56, 57 megabits uplink. All right, so I know it was a long video, but I wanted to give you guys a thorough testing of LTE and 5G with these new connections here, and the site was perfect to do it. I'll probably do some uh, some range testing on these sites very, very soon. All right, what do you guys think of the testing? What do you think of the results? Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter, my email, and my Patreon page. Support us there and get early access to content not found anywhere else. And of course, get early access to videos. So, get some perks, the Discord, some other stuff. Look at this rabbit running around. All right. I want to give you guys one more shot here. Long video. I say it's worth it, though. It was a good one. Anybody that wants to see those connections there in 77 to the left? CBRS to the right with that slight tilt. No idea why. Any engineers out there, RF people, let me know what the business is. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.